my god guys oh my god south africa is calling me right now guys i feel like packing up my bags and flying straight to Saudi right now i mean what a performance guys i still have goosebumps all over my body these housemates gave an electrifying performance oh my god guys it is unbelievable that these people can actually work together and come up with something like this guys it is simply amazing i am still awestruck by the richness of the culture of south africans that these housemates put on display tonight i mean it's not like this is the first time i'm actually seeing it no i mean i've actually experienced it before um via the um season three of big brother and samzi and also big brother titans of course but this one tonight came with a difference and guys i absolutely loved it i absolutely loved it even big brother had a lot to say you know in compliment to the efforts and everything they put together you know to give such a presentation tonight but guys you know what there were quite a number of housemates that were really outstanding tonight for me and I really do want to take our time on this video to give them their flowers all right so i'm going to give you all the details about the presentation tonight and of course give a massive shout out to all of those housemates that put their best foot forward to make sure tonight's presentation was a success all right so please make sure you watch to the end of this video do not skip out on any part so that you do not miss out all right and officially you are all welcome to my youtube channel my name is Gloria Elijah. This is frankly speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the T. For those of you that are new here, um, welcome to the family. If you are yet to subscribe, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. All right. Now quickly, let's just get on with the business of this video. So tonight's wager task presentation was all about putting on full display the richness and the colorfulness and diversity of the South African culture. And ladies and gentlemen, these housemates understood the assignment and they delivered. <laughs> These housemates took us back to home. And one of the beauties about the theme of the week was the fact that people had also introduced different um, tasks, you know, to add to the importance of the theme of the week. So there was a cookathon, as we call it here in Nigeria, yeah. Um, in other words, there was a cooking competition, you know, between teams, you know, in the house. And it was quite beautiful to see how the housemates put together different delicacies from South Africa you know, and also served their fellow housemates. There was also the dance competition, the dance of I, these housemates. I've actually mentioned this on different videos. And great news, guys, the orange team won. Massive congratulations to those people. They really brought their best foot forward, yes. And um, there is Z, there's Neo, and there is also Sammy M, you know, as members of that team. And today, which was the last day of the competition, they really killed it. So massive congratulations to them once again. Again. Come on, Sammy! Woo! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Hey! Going back to the wager task, because I said these housemates really brought everything to the table yeah now they were required to create fashion pieces you know that had a blend of you know pure South African culture with a full display of its colors as well as a spice of or should I say elements of the Gen Z culture and they had done that to the fullest guys in just a matter of I think three days or even less than three days these housemates with one sewing machines and needles for everybody to use to sew they had put together these pieces that you saw tonight so ladies and gentlemen it wasn't magic it was these housemates that did all of the work now when I say these housemates it wasn't all 21 of them yes there were some of them that tried to sabotage the task and it wasn't even big brother's disruptors no it was certain housemates that were just too lazy to pull their weight mitch was one of them um fahima was one of them and then there was also liema that had an emotional melt as well as a broken home to fix and it was really annoying but i love what the housemates did they had made up their mind you know from last week when they lost their first wager that moving forward whenever they have a wager for the week you know because their bellies are involved they don't, they don't want to be hungry they don't want to experience what they experienced last week anymore 
if people had issues like personal issues to, to deal with, they should just go ahead and sort it out. If anybody was going to throw any tantrums, everybody should ignore that one person so as not to cause a distraction to the general. Yes, and that was exactly what it did and it worked out fine. Now, another beautiful thing about this week's wager was the way Nio, the head of house, was able to draw people out of their shells, i.e. Mac, Junior, Sammy, M. Guys, these people, even Millet, they all came out. You know, so we did not have the, the previous case of, um, what's his name now, Papa Ghost and Lerato and Jolanda, you know, shouting all over the place and wanting to take the shine off the whole task. The way Mac Jr. carried this task on his head was quite impressive. I mean, guys, the way Mac Jr. carried this task on his head was quite impressive. Now, we know that Mac Jr. is the owl of the house. He rarely sleeps on time. He sleeps sometimes 3 a.m. And for most of the time, he is cleaning the entire house before the next day morning. And so for this week, Mac Jr. stayed up late a lot and was constantly brainstorming on creating speeches for different housemates. I mean, guys, <laughs> he did a lot. He did a lot. He was the lifeline, in my frank opinion. He was the lifeline of this task. And also, I mean, massive accolades also goes to Neo, the head of house, who had very, very excellent communication skills and was able to bring people together to do what needed to be done. Yes, there was no disrespect from her to anybody and all the housemates had a lot of nice things to say, except those like Lerato and Papa Gosto were quite offended that she did not really put them at the forefront of the task as they would love to do, you know, just as they did last week. She was in charge, she had structure, she was organized and everything went excellently well. Now, quickly fast forward to um, housemates worthy of mentioning, you know, from tonight's presentation, First honorable mention goes to Mpumi. Ladies and gentlemen, that woman is an ocean of talent. I mean, guys, Mpumi took me on a quick journey to South Africa in just a few minutes. I was enthralled by by her presence on that stage. Guys, the look, the delivery of her lines. Guys, that was beautiful poetry. It sounded poetic in my ears and I loved it. It felt like she was summoning my spirit and I was answering her call. That was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there was also Makeke. Makeke as well is worthy of mentioning. Makeke has really put himself at the forefront, you know, this week. This guy's creations, you know, for the shoes that some of the guys were wearing, him painting different things and outfits, that was really spot on. And then his performance, you know, showing a warrior that had his bow and arrow and was ready to go to battle, guys, that was beautiful to see. Now, there was also um, Yolanda. Oh my God, guys. Did you see Yolanda on the runway? <laughs> Pride themselves in being the cornerstone tribe of the many um, diverse cultures of South Africa. And they are known to be accommodating. See, I was looking at Yolanda and I was picturing Naomi Campbell in my head. See, when Yolanda says that she's a model, a professional model, she's not joking. She's not capping. Yolanda is indeed a walking, talking model. Forget about the fact that she's loud and noisy. Yes, that is her personality or whatever, or whether she's doing it for the game. I don't know. I don't care at this point. But Yolanda bodied that outfit. She walked the runway. She owned it. Her confidence. Disregarding the fact that she has her own imperfections, ladies and gentlemen, Yolanda was a beautiful imperfection walking on that stage tonight. And I loved it. I reveled. <laughs> I reveled in a style. It was beautiful and breathtaking. There was also Chuenza. Hey! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Chuenza was trotting the runway like, hey, I own the space. <laughs> and guys, I'm like, yes. Take it, sis. Take it, sis. That was the collective dance presentation. Oh, my God. Oh, 
here, ladies and gentlemen. It was so beautiful. And you know something, yeah? Ever since Biggie gave these housemates the task, I've been watching a lot of videos online, you know, portraying bits and pieces of the South African culture where people will gather together and they will dance. I also watched videos about the Zulu dance. I mean, I found it fascinating. And the housemates delivered tonight. And you know what was more beautiful about the whole presentation of that dance? It was the fact that they also infused some Gen Z musical vibes and dance moves. And guys, it was just so beautiful. Although at some point, it felt like the drummers were not really, get, just let's just say that they, they missed the beats, you know? And it almost created some sort of disconnection, right? But I loved the fact that the housemates used the clapping of their hands, you know, to keep their rhythm. And then the drummers found their rhythm as well and everything blended all together again. And all the chants from everybody, um, Mark Jr. once again, I loved seeing him being so fierce and manly and uh, I loved it. And then that was also Yolanda. In fact, everybody, everybody at that point in time, you know, was really involved and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. At the end of the day, um, even people that were so impressed, you know, commended them for their effort, all the hard work that they put in, including the fact that he even introduced more tasks in the week. But he also did not fail to point out the fact that he noticed that some housemates did not show the needed commitment, you know, to execute and prepare for the presentation this week and even asked Neil's um, opinion about that as well. And she also agreed because, guys, it was very obvious. Fahima especially was deliberately disregarding the head of house's authority. And I found it quite, quite annoying because I felt like, Fahima, it's your fellow disruptor that's on that seat. If for anything, you should support her. The people that you are against in, on the show are your fellow housemates or the other housemates, not your fellow disruptors. So I don't even know where this competition is coming from. And it was just so evident that there's a bit of jealousy right in there. And I'm like, Fahima, you need to slow down your horses and focus on the reason why you're on the show. But anyways, after all said, Biggie declared his verdict, which was, of course... <laughs> the housemates winning their wager and guys i was just so happy for these people i was so happy personally i feel like they deserve it they have worked for it aside those annoying people that did not want to contribute here but the housemates actually really worked for it and if they had lost it would have really hurt me because these people were having sleepless nights and they were overstressed they were overworked so i believe that they deserve some luxury you know this new week but anyways guys let me know your thoughts about the presentation tonight in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video thanks for watching and have an amazing evening bye